In the last class, you created a base for your pot. And you basically took um, a coil and made it into this spiral here. And now we have this nice round base. Now we got fresh clay for today, but we have old clay from last time. So what we need to do is score and use slip to attach. So I'm going to take this fork and I'm going to score which is just basically scraping in to the surface of the clay to prepare it for that slip. And I was just kind of turning it as I went. And I also want to do that on my coil. So I'm going to scrape this up. Now this clay is that I rolled in the coil is fairly wet, so I'm not going to need a whole lot of slip but I have this here, and this is the first stage of clay where it's watered down clay and it's almost like a paint consistency. So I'm going to get some of this on a brush and I'm going to put that right onto those score marks. And sometimes you'll need to do that on here, but since this clay is so wet, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that. I'm going to move my slip aside and then I want to make sure that my score marks touch with my score marks. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to push around like this very gently with my fingers and I'm going to overlap. You'll see this little thing up here is overlapped and then I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm just going to slice right here where it overlaps. I'm going to take those extra pieces off and I've got that perfect fit right now it's not quite bonded in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna pull parts of this coil down into the base you can see I just kind of smooshed that in and some people use this tool I'm gonna to do this so that my hands not in the way so that you can see a little better but I'm just gonna take this in this is kind of like a wooden finger And I'm going to turn as I go, so you can see what I'm doing. And for the first coil, we're going to really make sure that this part is really smushed in there nicely. You don't want to smush the coil because we still want to have that, uh, we need more surface to uh, touch so you don't want to make this real thin but I am going to kind of make sure this is all bonded together I'm going to kind of erase that line where I cut and that's how I add the first coil to my base and then you can keep this the way it is or you can take your thumb and start to bond around the edge so you're erasing that Some people like that uh, texture on the edge. So I have one example that I've shown you guys that has that texture just kept on there. And I've only bonded the inside of the coils together. And so that's the base plus one coil.